this is Cookie, and I have bad news and good news. Bad news, my Nemo passed away. The good news, I bought a slide whistle. Four players. Gee, that's practically enough to have a key party. You all take care of those screws now. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Legal puppets. We've got lawyer puppets, judge puppets, grand jury puppets, bailiff puppets, and do for this season, assistant district attorney puppets. You won't object to our prices. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Get ready, time for fashion. Right off the top, Ilvis has left the building. So I've been thinking, the dog goes woof, the cat goes meow, ducks go quack, and fish go blub. But what does Guy Fox say? Ring ding ding, I discovered Florida. Wah pa pa pa, let's blow up Parliament. Ha tee ha tee ha tee, I'm a three musketeer. Or fra ka 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 ka, I invested. Guy Fox is best known, besides being the face on those masks Anonymous wears, for trying to blow up Parliament in 1605. I'm considering blowing up KXCW Rock Radio if they don't stop playing What Does the Fox Say during my morning commute. Why are you still playing that song? Open wide for... The Darjeeling Extremely Limited. And it's a whimsical this or that. Player four? Your score is the lowest, so why don't you play this this or that? I'm gonna read off seven items, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's... A character from a Wes Anderson film, or... A species of endangered tree. If it's a Wes Anderson character, press the square button. If it's an endangered tree, press the circle button. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Lock in your answers before player four does, because if player four gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split that cash. Ready? Let's go. Royal Tenenbaum. St. Helena Gumwood. Raleigh St. Clair. Pau Brazil. Osiri Draculius. Pagoda. Monkey Puzzle. I didn't really understand that performance. Wes Anderson would be proud. Endangered trees and Wes Anderson films. Two things I pretend to care about to impress other people. Dance with me, Disco 3. Try this on for size. Wreck It Ralph is just a Hamlet ripoff. Which of these Disney animated films is very, 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 very loosely based on a story by Hans Christian Andersen? Tangled, Pinocchio, Frozen, or Lilo and Stitch? Next time, try this. Frozen is loosely, and I mean loosely, based on the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Snow Queen. In that there is a snowy queen, and pretty much every other single thing in the story is completely different. So if you're a Hans Christian Andersen purist, let it go. Let it go! This is what you get when you let your conscience be your guide. And you know what else you get? This Southern Lawyer Puppet from Legal Puppets. If you can tell the difference between our puppets and an actual lawyer, your next puppet is free! This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. How about a two mysteriously floating knife? What would be most appropriate for Julius Caesar to say after fighting and defeating the Invisible Man? Veni vidi vici, veni vici, vici. Player four, where are you putting that screw? 
Player two, you're screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Interesting choice. Player four, that was a very nice screw job. Time to twist the knife. Player four. Veni Vidi Vici is Latin for I came, I saw, I conquered. So if Julius Caesar defeated the Invisible Man, why I have no idea, he would most likely omit the I saw portion. I would think fighting the Invisible Man would be a Pyrrhic victory, because with that much blind groping, you're bound to repeatedly grab genitals. Player three. Sweet dreams. Player ah! one. Let's try... I can't hockey mask the pain. Let's say a proud hockey mom is giving birth to a future goalie right this second. If it's a traditional between-the-legs birth, in hockey terms, where is the doctor receiving that baby when he or she comes out? In the mom's one hole, in the mom's two hole, in the mom's four hole, or in the mom's five hole? Player one, who are you gonna screw? My player four, you're getting screwed. You've got five seconds to make a choice. Whoa. Whoa. That's how you screw player one. Why not grab a few more bucks while you're at it? Player one. Good effort. Good effort. Player three. Player two. In hockey, the space between a goalie's legs is called a five-hole. And if you give birth to a hockey player, you're always guaranteed tickets in the C-section. That's round one. And player four is at the head of the pack with a comfortable cushion. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And I want to see some screwing. You didn't come here to make friends. Coming up, holla to me, not at me. Yo, I'm gonna hook you up with another question. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I study entomology. Yes, I study kinesiology. Yes, I study pneumatics. <laughs> Linguistics is the study of language. Or as I like to call it, the study of word noises that have brain meanings. But that's just me, I'm a talk gooder. I happen to be something of a student of linguistics. It's how I became fluent in High Elvish. Up next, quick quirky quiz with quips and quacks. What does the Q in NASDAQ stand for? Quotations, quantifiers, quotient, or... Qu All right, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. In this player one, you're screwed. You got five seconds to give me an answer. Nobody picks that one. Player two, way to screw, baby. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Players two, three, and four... The Q in NASDAQ stands for quotations. So taking what the other letters mean, NASDAQ stands for... You know what? No one gives a shit. Next question. Oh wait, I promised to quack. There you go. Follow me down to the sea. And now, it's too cold for hot fuzz. Where can you see Simon Pegg in Winnipeg? A screening of Shauna... Player 3, where's that screw going? Uh, Player 3? You know you're supposed to screw someone else, right? I only ask because most people like to keep their cash. We'll try not to let that ruin the rest of the game. Players 1, 2, and 4? Winnipeg, sometimes affectionately referred to as the Peg, is the largest city in Manitoba, Canada. And you'll also see frost on the ground there. Nick Frost. He's clumsy.
Pucker up for... Stand up for your rights. Let's say Louis C.K. has a son named Louis, and he has a son named Louis, and so forth, until they've established a dynasty of stand-up comedians named Louis. Which one would you expect to be attacked by an audience revolt and beheaded on stage? Louis C.K. the 14th? Louis C.K. the 15th? Louis C.K. the 17th? Louis the 16th was captured during the French Revolution and beheaded. The other Louis died of natural causes like old age. But right before Louis the 16th got his head chopped off, he did a great bit about how his five-year-old is a jerk. <laughs> I'll miss him. Here's one for you. Ancient Farmville. Hey, help me finish this song. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some Chinese pandas, E-I-E-I-O. Australian kangaroos, e The Olmecs were an ancient Mexican civilization known for their sculptures of giant stone heads. And I don't know how old MacDonald farmed jaguars. I've been milking this one all day, and all I've gotten is one cup of milk. Um, I think that's milk. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I loved you as Nebuchadnezzar. What Bible character did I love these people as? like beer without as many calories as beer. Seat ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Lights felt bottled or empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Lights felt comes in a bottle with its name on the label, so you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs, drinking beer while exercising, getting tips and massive chafing, no pain, no gain, be a cool tattoo, get dehydrated, don't take breaks, water shows the babes your weakness, must get babes to make Jenny jealous, Jenny must know you're doing alright. Glug Lights felt. Glug Light! No matter who you are, you have dreams. I want to 
to be an astronaut. I want to be a doctor. A dinosaur. And Angie's ice creamery wants to hear them. Come into any Angie's to tell us your dream, and you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. I want to be a teacher. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be best friends with a horse. Here's a free dreamsicle. Is this where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My face is not my own. A small fire burns besides me and I face it. A young calf slowly melts into the flames. It looks at me and speaks. This is what remembering does, it says. And then I'm in a field, it's raining. I cannot move my legs, but steadily I go forward. Through the tall grass towards a grave. I cannot read it, but I do not need to. This grave is mine. And then I wake up. Um, do you want a dreamsicle? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, everything is pleasant now. What are all you kids looking at? <laughs> Angie's Ice Creamery. It's a dream come true.